G'day everybody, uh, horrible day today here in Tassie, anyway 10.55am in the morning um, and we have a high watch day today, the 24th. Now, I was having a little bit, bit of a think about the timing, considering we were watching from the 21st to the 24th, there was um, the three and a half days that Jesus was in the grave, the 84 hours, so if we were looking for a rapture on the 24th, and we're all hoping that's the case. Uh, not saying it's going to be, we're just hoping. I would imagine the three and a half days would make it daytime in um, Israel on the 24th. Uh, also, something else. I've heard some channels talk about uh, Genesis and where it says in Genesis that... Um, Noah entered the ark and then the rain came, um, sort of suggesting that there wasn't a seven-day period where he, he waited before he went in and then the rain came. I found a great article. I'll, I'll actually play it or, uh, you know, get Siri to read it so that it's just a little bit quicker. But it, it shows you how that's not the case, that it still does um, imply that 24th, uh, Noah sat at the ark door. Seven days later, it was closed and the rain came. Uh, so I'll just play that now. Uh, I'll pause it afterwards and then just quickly finish off. Did Noah enter the ark one week prior to the flood? May 18, 2020, you teach that Noah and his family waited seven days in the ark before the flood came, which is a picture of the rapture happening before the seven year tribulation. But Genesis 7, 11, 16 says they entered the ark on the same day that the rains came. Doesn't that change our understanding of the timing of the rapture? It's important to note that Genesis 7 is not written in a purely chronological fashion. Moses doubles back in a circular manner typical of an Eastern. He breaks style of writing as he tells the story of the flood. If we reorder the text of Genesis 7 slightly, we can create a chronological progression in the narrative, which allows us to understand the narrative more clearly. General 76 Now Noah was 600 years old when the flood of water came upon the earth. General 77 Then Noah and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him entered the ark because of the water of the flood. General 7 to 8 Of clean animals and animals that are not clean and birds and everything that creeps on the ground. General 7 9 There went into the ark to Noah by twos, male and female, as God had commanded Noah. General 7 13 On the very same day Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them, entered the ark. General 7.14 They and every beast after its kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth after its kind, and every bird after its kind, all sorts of birds. General 7.15 So they went into the ark to Noah, by twos of all flesh in which was the breath of life. General 7.16 Those that entered, male and female of all flesh, entered as God had commanded him, and the Lord closed it behind him. General 7.17 Then the flood came upon the earth for forty days, and the water increased and lifted up the ark, so that it rose above the earth. General 7.10 It came about after the seven days, that the water of the flood came upon the earth. General 7.11 In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the seventeenth day of the month, on the same day all the fountains of the great deep burst open, and the floodgates of the sky were opened. General 7.12 The rain fell upon the earth for forty days and forty nights. Reordering the text in this way produces a chronological sequence, and in that sequence, we can clearly see that the phrase on the very same day in version 13 is speaking about the day Noah and the animals entered the ark, not the day the flood came. The family entered on one day and then seven days later the flood came. Therefore, the imagery of the rapture is not disturbed, and in fact, this reinforces the picture, because it confirms that all believers in the church will be removed from the earth in the same moment, on the very same day, so to speak. So isn't that interesting? Um, I find it is, anyway. For those that sort of uh, couldn't understand that seven-day period or thought that it might not have existed, that... Uh, little description there clearly shows how 
Genesis, and I know it said general or something like that. That's just Siri trying to interpret what gen means. It, it sort of made it look like, uh, uh, no, I could possibly have entered the ark and then the rain started exactly the same time. But, but the way Genesis was written and understood um, back then, and the way we should interpret it, shows us that that isn't the case. So if we are still looking at the 24th as our current highest watch time, not saying it is going to happen, like I said, we'd be looking at three and a half days, um, and I'm suggesting daytime in Israel. And I guess if we started at six o'clock, which is round about their sunset for the beginning of the day, we'd be looking at six a.m. in the morning, twelve hours later to make it three and a half days into the twenty-fourth, uh, which is three hours away. But if we're looking at midnight as being the changeover of the date then 12 hours, three and a half days later, would make it uh, 12 p.m. midday. So I guess we've got sort of not a great lot of time left to find out, either 6 a.m. or 12 p.m. midday, I guess might give us an answer. Um, but I hope that little verse that was uh, read out by Siri for me um, puts to rest anybody that might be thinking uh, it's more likely a 31st rapture than a 24th. However, that still could be wrong. And if today passes, we have the eclipse on the 28th and then we have the 31st after that. So stay encouraged, keep looking up. Remember, our salvation is through Jesus, through his work and what he did. Nothing that we did gives us salvation through his blood alone. Confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, a perfect sinless perfect person, defeating death, sin and the grave to cover our sins. It's a free gift, something we don't don't deserve. We cannot get into heaven by our, by our own works. This is a gift and it comes through our belief. God bless. Amen.